yo what to do all right so a lot of times on my stream i will glitch through the silo whether it's doing the photo mode like clipping through the door but i get a lot of questions about how to pass the laser grid so here we are at a silo so if you knew the old uh glitches where you could back up to the laser grid right here in the first little room when I exit the elevator, then you could exit your power armor and it would like put you through the grid. So that was the old way. And then Bethesda fixed that. So, you know, it's not a viable uh, option anymore. So here we are in this first little room and here's the laser grid. Now this is the fastest way to run through a nuke silo. So one thing you need to do is you need to come to aid and you want to make sure you have some honey Honey, you could use uh, canned coffee. You could also use, I believe I have some. Uh, you could use sugar bombs. I don't have any on here, but uh, you could use sugar bombs. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to exit your power armor. All right, let's go ahead and collect the power armor. And I want you to look at this wall right here. And you see this little space between this metal thing and this trash can. And this is the part we just want to want to run in place right here. But before we do that, what we want to do is we want to come over to our apparel. And you'll notice this um, black metal box. You want to take your power armor. And then you want to stand on this side of the black box. And then put the power armor down. Like so. Now, this black box is going to keep you from entering your power armor. Before we enter it, and I'll actually go into third person to show you. But before we enter it, we're going to come over here. And we're just going to eat some of these honeys. Like so, there's like a few of them. I'm going to enter my power armor. You'll notice that it does not enter. I'm holding down on my thumbstick and I'm just gonna run in place right here. And as soon as the power armor goes on me, I'll clip through the wall. Then I wanna use my jetpack. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna land. Make sure you land. So if you look at the map, you don't wanna land on the open spot. So you wanna land like on the beams and you can do it again. And then just kinda land right here. And how you find the silo, you see the missile right there, the the big area. I can't really, it's got like the circle at the top of it. That's what we're shooting for. So again, we're just going to make it to right here. And then now we're in the silo room. Now, in order to get, in order to activate, uh, you could tell this room from the other ones because it's not lit up. Uh, it's all dark because there's no lights on it. Uh, so one thing you have to do, though, to actually get the silo to activate, or at least I found this is what you've had to do, is you're going to want to come get around here if you can. Let's destroy all this. This is where you normally come up the stairs at. So just run in here and then run back out. Then the lights will cut on. And then you just want to go ahead and just clear everything out down here. And then that's it. Now you can activate the silo. Fastest silo run in the gate. Well, I could stop from getting shot. And once you clear everything out, just go ahead and launch control terminal. So sometimes it'll bug out. You see, it'll say you can't do that while you're in power armor, etc. So you're just going to have to just clear everything out. Run around. It'll, it'll eventually work. Uh, sometimes it just bugs out like that. But like I said, just run back through here and then run back out. Uh, I've noticed sometimes, too, doing this, that the computer won't open. Like, it won't give me the option to initiate the robot. But uh, you'll get it eventually. It, it is faster than, you know, having to run through the silo. Uh, so let's see if we can get it to work now. And there we go. Then we just launch the silo. Fastest way to launch a nuke. Now, another thing, too, if you're a low-level player and you're going to find this part right here to be kind of hard i recommend going and getting five level one troubleshooter pieces or whatever uh doesn't matter level or you know legendary one two three it doesn't matter that's going to give you uh plus 75 resistance from robots so we have all robots in here so that's definitely you know what we want we want resistance from robots and then you know all you got to do is just hold the fort down now that's it right there Fastest way to drop a nuke in Fallout 76. Doesn't get any faster than this. Um, so hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave that down below. Hope everyone has a great day. I'm out. Peace.